Um, let's let's see. Since we're already semi talking about Blizzard right now, uh, during an earnings call, Activision Blizzard has announced that Overwatch Two and Diablo Four uh, won't be launching in 2021. Uh, both ah. titles were previous. Ah. Both ah. titles. Ah. Oh, weird. Both ah. titles were previously announced during 2019's BlizzCon, uh, with the former's previous entry launching in 2016 and the latter's in 2012. Um, uh, I'm just going to be a so sad true. Diablo fan in the corner, excuse me. I know. I think Overwatch I'm 2. So, I want Diablo 4, or <laughs> yeah, Diablo 4 so bad. Uh, Overwatch 2 is <laughs> in a really weird spot because um, I, I think most of the communities in, in the camp of yeah. you can just patch this content really? into overwatch <laughs> one just make it as a games as a service whatever you want to call it it's a living game but they have purposely held back on content for overwatch one specifically so they actually have something for overwatch two which is actively hurt the game for yeah. I, don't, I don't remember like the Absolutely. last substantial updates but yeah that game is slowed down and there's less interest yeah. as a result in it because of that I, um, I don't personally I, like Diablo, so you, you guys can talk. Why about would you announce these games so early? So I just early. can't so think of anything else <laughs> happening at the time. <laughs> I just Personally, don't know why they would announce it so here, early. I don't think Diablo 4 was announced too early because they actually had that playable at BlizzCon yeah. that year. Like, like it, it wasn't playable to the public, but journalists and influencers were, were able to play the first area and three and three of the of the base classes so like it was playable i don't think diablo 4 was announced too early i would 100 percent believe that overwatch 2 was. Like, so they sure like, were uh, blitzing to uh, get it let's, out there yeah let's be real here for a second Boo. lizard really? saw the blitz chung situation <laughs> or is it is it blitz chung is that I believe the correct so. pronunciation i believe it is they saw the blitz chung situation and they said we already have these pre-rendered cutscenes made years in advance we need a smoke screen to make people not talk about this anymore so that they're talking about Blizzard in a positive light. And they didn't care how long those games were going to take to come out. They wanted Overwatch 2 to be trending on Twitter and set a free Hong Kong and fuck Blizzard. <laughs> that's that's no, basically and I it. completely agree with you, especially because if you go back and look at that Overwatch 2 gameplay trailer, it's basically just Overwatch 1. It just looks a tiny bit prettier. And yeah. The uh, UI has changed. Oh boy! Like it's it's exactly the same thing. If you just like pay attention to it, and they're like, "Oh, we just gave all the characters brand new outfits." It's like, uh, oh boy! I mean, I mean, this is literally just, the fucking studio yeah. behind they never like, the get big new outfits. This is literally right? the studio behind the biggest MMO of all fucking time, and they just updated the same game. Like, why can't you yeah. do fucking do the same for Overwatch? It's, it's, it's yeah, it's, dumb. it's yeah. just stupid. I, I never understood why they're coming out with Overwatch two when it's like i don't know like it's an online it's never really been like any a story driven game it's literally it's just getting a, a story mode like yeah. it's getting a full on like i think they could just make update, story mode. then just update the base game you don't need to make a yeah. second game i just, think they could charge for like the campaign portion i'd be fine with that but for the multiplayer why yeah. we 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 should also preface that um around the time that this earnings call came out of rumors, and this rumor has been around for fucking ages, uh, that there's a Diablo 2 remake in development. And it was meant to always come out before Diablo 4, uh, because Diablo 4's story is supposed to come directly after Diablo 2's, apparently, if I remember correctly. Um, so the rumor is for that is that motherfucking Vicar, uh, what the hell was the developers that Blizzard just ate who worked on Tony, Tony Hawk? I believe Vicarious. Yes, yeah, so Vicarious just got... I'd say they were eaten by Activision. I doubt this was Blizzard's doing. They were eaten by Activision and pretty much put to work on Blizzard projects. Um, yeah, and yeah, the rumor yeah, is yeah, sure. that they are working on Diablo 2. A full remake of Diablo 2. Apparently it's been in development for a couple of years. So uh, it's supposed to be announced at Blizzard's BlizzCon, BlizzCon Online in like two weeks. And that's supposed to be the like Diablo thing of this. Year. So then, what about Diablo movie? three? When when did Diablo three even happen? Are they just uh, like, not? That was 2012. Oh no, are you no, talking I about know, the lore of Diablo? The lore of Diablo. Let's oh, okay. like, okay. suppose I don't fully know up to that. I just know that Diablo four 
they're taking a lot from Diablo 2. Like when they when they announced it, they were full on like we are like taking a lot from, because Diablo 2 for people who don't know, who don't play it, Diablo 2 was incredibly you had pentagrams as your option choice little buttons. <laughs> they, were oh, yeah. like, they were like demons. Like obviously there's demons everywhere in Diablo, but there was a lot more demonic imagery and a lot more like satanic imagery in Diablo 2. That's what they're going back to in Diablo 4. And if you've seen the announcement trailer with one that has Lilith, our queen, our lord and savior in it, they they totally are doing that. They are going back to full on human sac- sacrifices. They're going back to like pentagrams and Satan shit. Like they're going that full on like, back to Diablo 2. And so um, supposedly the story is actually takes place after Diablo 2. So it, it's like after Diablo 2, a little bit after Diablo 3, that kind of thing. It's a little bit confusing. Mm-hmm. I've never really been up on Diablo lore, so I'm not the person to ask. But but what but, I'm um, hearing what I'm hearing, Sarah, is that yes. you're gonna be my Diablo 4 buddy. Or, well, you know, <laughs> you're gonna you know, you're gonna have to fight Blaine. You're gonna have to fight Blaine because Blaine I, and I started a Diablo two playthrough. I, 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 I will, I will make a much. pledge to you. I have traditionally not enjoyed Diablo, but I am more than willing to be your Diablo buddy. Okay. okay. But, wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. So, what platform um, are we talking? So, for those who don't know, and I just mentioned earlier, there's a BlizzCon online happening in about two weeks, and this announcement was also to pretty much let people know what to look out for at blizzcon online meaning there will be like little to no over over the overwatch 2 will maybe get a new playable class in diablo 4 and like a new area or maybe a new like enemy introduction because they already introduced cannibals are in diablo 4 so they're going to be introducing probably more 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 about that and new class probably a new trailer we don't know um but we're most likely going to be hearing a fuck ton of wow news in two weeks. So if you people don't like World of Warcraft, don't pay attention to BlizzCon Online <laughs> because that's all it's going to be. Uh, spoiler because alert: Blizzard the, knows the, what makes them billions of dollars every yeah. year. And spoiler it's alert: the uh, <laughs> the final boss of Diablo Four is going to be Era Thirty Seven. <laughs> What's that? I don't oh, that's that. the. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a meme of. Uh, when everyone's trying to log into Diablo 3 on day one, they got oh, error 37. I know what you're talking in. about now. Okay, yeah, because Diablo 3 was a mess at launch. Yeah. <laughs> and it slowly got better. Please play Reaper of Souls. You can get it on the Switch. It runs at 60 FPS on the Switch. It fucking... It is smooth as butter. It is it's amazing. Pretty, it's a pretty Switch. good expansion. I enjoy that expansion. It's also, just, just the game running on the Switch itself is kind of nuts, but it runs so good, and the controls are so good. That it's my go-to, like, I, w- I-, I can play it for, like, hours. Like, I'll just sit down and forget what time it is and just play Diablo 3 for, for like, I've, hours. I've become such a, f- a PC snob that I w- even when I see 60, I'm like, really? That's all you can do? On the Switch? <laughs> On the Switch? That runs Animal Crossing and overheats. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's I know, impressive I know. how they got Diablo running. And I have not played Overwatch on the Switch. I got it for Christmas last year but i have not played it apparently overwatch runs pretty good on the switch too surprisingly so it's just yeah activision's making a shit ton of money blizzard's making a shit ton of wow money what people fail to realize was hidden in that earnings report is blizzard saying that they're working on multiple free-to-play world of warcraft and mobile titles which is just like oh no not a good oh no a bad oh no (laughs) A very bad oh no, because we don't know what the fuck they're going they are going to be. So they could be boring as fuck like farming sims, but you're a panda in Pandaria farming carrots. I don't I don't know. It's it fa- wow fans aren't exactly happy about it, so we'll see when Blizzard has BlizzCon in like two weeks. But Let's, 